Yes, today we are going to discuss keyboard and mouse events in Selenium web driver. So, what are keyboard and mouse events? Keyboard keyboard events is nothing but clicking space, clicking, clicking shift button, clicking some other up arrow, down arrows, clicking plus, minus symbols. So, all these keyboard events, right? So, what are mouse events? Mouse events are nothing but clicking left and that means pressing and hold and I can show you here so there are different methods for mouse events as well as keyboard for keyboard events we will be having key up and key down so I will show you now so mouse events go to mouse events here so generally in our any project we will be having mouse actions right so when you are hover hovering on some field okay so i am hover hovering on this google text and it is highlighting its color is going to change to some light color and if you go to selenium site here uh, the text is having text field is having gray color if you mouse over it is going to highlight with white color right so like this so if you go to highlight some color is going to highlight right so like this we can handle this all this mouse event mouse click and click and hold if i click and hold this won't uh, reload I, I, I click and hold on this go button and if i release this will load so like this all these mouse events we are going to handle by using selenium web driver we have simple classes two classes what they are one is actions and the other is action okay so actions contains all your mouse and keyboard action and action will be used to compile your actions so for a simple example i took mouse over action so right so action i took as mouse over mouse over is nothing but so just move your mouse to some other element that it has to highlight so we'll see whether it is mouse over or not by default this is showing some gray color and when i mouse over it is showing some white color right so to use this actions and action classes right so actions contain all your events so what are the mouse events right i'm going to show the mouse events here first here uh, i created an object for this actions so i'm going to use that object to show you some events b action if i put dot it will show some actions right so what are the actions build is there click and click is there click and hold this is a mouse event click and hold that means it will click and hold uh, as i have shown you before so it won't release right so when you click and hold it will hold right like left left press will be there on your mouse right so like this this click and hold so again we have click and hold some on, on some web element okay that means i have website here this is a link and i just clicked and hold until and unless i released uh, this will not load right if i release then it will load like this okay so like this we can use on web elements as well so what are the other actions so context click double click these are all mouse even double click context click is nothing but you will show some right click content right so i'll show you this one as well and i'm going to right click on google go button so it will show these fields okay if i click right click here it will show all these right click context on text fields so like this you can use those things next drag and drop you can drag and drop by using mouse right so in the same way you can use this drag and drop to drag and drop some web element one source to another source okay so like this we have mouse events so what are the keyboard events? we have keyboard events as well one is key down that means pressing some key in your from your keyboard and key up releasing that pressed key as well so once you key once you press any key you can release by using key up so if you want to press any key you can use key down and if you want to press any key uh, if you want to release any key that means remove your hand from that key so you can use key up so these actions will be performed so i'm going to show, show some simple examples for key press and key down as well as some of the mouse events so first i'm going to show mouse over functionality and selenium web driver 
site okay so selenium web driver site this is a google text field by default it's a gray color when i mouse over on it it's showing white color this is what i want to verify whether this is changing or not okay so mouse over event class method is move to element so move to element is a method to use mouse over okay to move your mouse to some other element so mouse if you put move to element so it will move to that element which you want you have provided in your thing so i have simple case here so to mouse over on selenium text field in your selenium main side so i launched my google chrome driver by using i create declared my web driver here and launched with google chrome and typed selenium site here now the action i'm going to increase so if you want to use all these actions into you into your driver or means in your chrome driver or firefox driver you have to include that driver okay with if you don't use it won't no it doesn't know which browser it has to do so first it has to have some driver okay browser driver so i mentioned driver so it will work on chrome driver now if you mention firefox it will work on firefox so in the actions class i used driver so what now what i have to do as i have created an action mouse over so mouse over i'm compiling here by using build so i'm calling this method actions method which method i am calling move to that means mouse over method move to element is nothing but mouse over method so which element you want to use mouse over so that element you have to provide so i am going to mouse over on my selenium text field in your selenium side so i took this element id that is q and i am going to do build so what it will do this mouse over is build with some action mouse over action so if i use perform mouse over dot perform so it will perform that mouse over action so perform will always used for all events if you don't use perform so this will not work so mouse over anyway you compile but you, if you want to execute that com command you have to use perform so now in my test i am just mouse overing on that this element so i am just calling this object dot perform so if i call this perform then mouse over action will be performed so what i did i added my browser drive drive browser here so driver in the actions class so now this bt actions is working on this browser the, the browser is chrome browser so on chrome browser my mouse over actions is working so i am initializing this action event what is that event mouse over event right so i am calling this move to element from actions class as it is having b action as object so i am calling this object dot method so method i called so this method requires some locator so which element you want to mouse over so that element i provided at driver dot find element by id so id i provided so now selenium text field id provided so it will mouse over on that so this i am going this action i am going to build right so i build it by using build if you don't build then it will not execute so first it has to compile every time when you are using any action you have to compile that action so compile that any action you have to use dot build so this build method will compile your action mouse event okay so once that is done if you want to perform that action you have to use perform method so i am going this is my test case mouse hovering on some text field so now i'll execute this so that you can easily find out run as test ng test executing this so what it has to do it has to mouse over that means white space you will be seeing after gray color on the text field so opening the chrome driver chrome browser so launched it's, it's got launched and selenium browser open and gray color first and when the action performed it will be white color you can easily identify that okay i'm waiting for mouse over event So now mouse over action is going to perform it's taking some time due to some issues so once it is got highlighted it shows some it, it is mouse over then it will show some white color in this space we'll see whether execution completed or not it's got completed again we'll run 
we'll see whether it is you can easily observe that okay mouse over run as again once got it got executed it has to show some white color right it has to show like this okay again it's got executed color is not changing here so you're not observing it right so like this it has to show mouse over we'll again execute this one more time run as mouse over see it's going off immediately so you can easily you have to observe keenly okay it's mouse over on that but it's not showing it so if i perform something you can easily identify that mouse over so to mouse over you have to use move to element okay find element by id so this element i am going to use mouse over right so right click here inspect element and its id you can identify like this sorry we'll execute another case as well here it is very fast so it's not showing that over i have another case as well to have multiple mouse overs different mouse over events okay here i have different mouse over mouse down okay send keys key down double click context click re release releasing mouse and keep up actions so in this class also we will execute and we'll see that so now i am initializing my browser and i added to action class so first one is i am doing mouse down action on some go button so its id is submit so now i am going to comment all these things whatever the action i want i'll just mouse click here so what is this mouse down right so i have to use mouse down dot perform so that it will highlight somehow so mouse down action i started dot mouse down dot perform means it will highlight that means it will click and hold that event so i mentioned click and hold right so it will click and hold that on the go button in your selenium site here okay this go button will highlight i'm executing this case so no other issues right so again saving this case and running as test ng suit so it will launch chrome browser chrome browser and to open selenium site and you can see go button is highlighted here you can see here right it's got highlighted that means it is clicked and hold so until and unless if you release it won't load uh, if i click this generally it loads right so like this so click and hold click and hold is happen now i'm going to release that so to release that i'm going to have release command so release so release what you are going to release that submit button whatever i click and hold i'm going to release so i'm going to release perform i'm going to perform that release option release method so first it is clicking and hold and then it is releasing that so it has to load that some other page as i as it is clicked some go go, go button right so executing it again opening chrome browser and opening the url in that and click the global and open that means i use release and it is released so generally as manual actions we have to release right once click and hold once you release then only it will load the page so release action will be used to release your mouse clicked okay now any other other actions we have context click so if you want to click context i'm commenting this release action and mouse down action and here also i'm commenting this mouse down action okay now if you want to use context context click context is nothing but right clicking on your web element so context so 
I am using context click for selenium text field. So it has to display this undo, paste, cut, copy, all these options in my script open browser. Okay, closing this and running my script context click right. So context click will do right click on your web element. Okay, so it will show your right click context content. Okay. So running as test train is set, running it. So it has to right click on the Selenium text field. Okay. So open and right click on your Selenium text field. Okay. So this is context click. So if you want to see the context, you can see the context text here. Okay. So now we have another uh, concept saying send send keys okay send keys generally we discussed like it will use to type okay so by using send keys we can type some text in your text field so i'm for that we have to use send keys dot perform so if i use send keys dot perform so it will type some selenium text in a text field so these are all mouse events okay so you can execute mouse event without using mouse you can execute your script that means your script will take care of all your mouse events and keyboard events. So till now I did all mouse events, right? So Selenium type, uh, Selenium text got typed in the Selenium text field. Okay. Like this, we can use send keys as well. Next, we have key up and key down. So key up is nothing but your keyboard buttons clicking up and down. Clicking means pressing your button. If you keep, uh, if you use key up, so key up will be used to release your pressed already pressed key okay so i'm going to press some key so shift key i'm going to press that's why i mentioned shift if you can have all the keys here if you want i will show you the keys so b action dot key key down i'm doing so the key means what which keys you want so keys dot if you put dot all your keyboard keys will be displayed add alt okay arrow down arrow left arrow right backspace cancel all the keyboards but keyboard buttons okay keyboard buttons will be displayed here okay decimals all these things f1 f2 action all actions in your keyboards will be displayed here whatever you want to execute whatever you want to use you can use i am just using shift key okay so shift key i am using so if to check whether shift key is pressed or not i'm just using shift key and after using shift key i'm clicking some project tab in the selenium so if i press shift key and click project here it will open a new window okay so this is what i want to verify if without clicking press shift key if i click project it will load in the same window so if i put shift key in uh, if i press shift key and click project it will open in a new window this is what i want to verify whether new window is opened or not then we can confirm like shift key got pressed okay so now what i'm going to do i'm closing this so shift key is pressed that means uh, no it, it's got built and i'm going to use this shift key here so where is that key down right so key down i'm enabling here and commenting here that means it's performing fast this and what i'm doing i'm going to click this projects right so driver dot find element by the link text by link text projects and click it has to open in new window so that we can confirm like so it's got pressed first shift key and then project got clicked and it's opened in the new window i'm going to do that commenting uncommenting commenting all and uh, what is going to do it, it has to press that shift key and it has to click the mouse click the sorry clicking the project so running running it so it has to open in the new window the project should be open in the new window so project is open in the new window right so you can see the new window here so this is another window so okay so like this you can use keyboard commands as well by using key generally we use key presser key release right these two commands but they are con they are containing all different kinds of keyboard keys right so we have key up once i press key down i'm going to press key up and execute and click the key 
click the project so that it has to run on in the same it has to load in the same window same window it has it should not open new window so for that i'm going to use key up okay key up also i'm uncommenting so key up will release the key that means whatever i pressed i'm pressing shift first and then releasing that shift button so i mentioned shift button here first pressing it here and releasing it the same button so if i click this project then it has to load in the same window previously it has loaded in the different window right so it has to load in the same window now i'm running it again run as test ng test okay so open browser launching my selenium and clicking project it has loaded in the same window that means shift key got pressed and then released by using key up okay then project got clicked this is how you have to use mouse events and keyboard events by using selenium web driver so in the next classes we'll discuss another concept